It's a few minutes to 5 p.m. and thanks for joining us once again. The keep that is out uh, covering these elections here in Douala. And we're actually at uh, Douala 5, that's uh, Rompulung, a very busy area in uh, Douala. But then as you can see, almost everywhere is closed because uh, we are the people are respecting others from above. They had to be uh, closed throughout today for the 12 hours that the voting process was going on but then by 6 p.m i'm sure when the votes are being counted people are going to go about the activities normally as you can see most of them after voting already have uh, gone to uh, follow up their different activities now as you can see the the, the forces of law and other are out to prevent uh, uh turmoil or some trouble uh, during uh, the the election process uh, the stores are closed and particularly today even those stores that are open they are not selling anything alcoholic because they want Cameroonians to vote when they are conscious. They should know who they are voting for and should not say they were influenced by alcohol. Now, um, concerning irregularities, uh, so far today uh, we got uh, uh, quite a few people who did complain about irregularities in uh, some of the polling stations. Their complaints were they did not know where they had to vote. Uh, they, they went uh, there and they did not find their names on the voting list. Others said after not finding their names, they could uh, successfully get their names. Uh, they were actually on the on the books in the classrooms, but their names were not uh, listed out, were not there on the board. Uh, others uh, complained of uh, uh, having difficulties actually even uh, getting to their voting uh, uh, stations because they were confused. They did not go to Elecam to uh, know where they were going to vote. And uh, those who actually came out there to vote did give some words of encouragement, saying that the elections were free and fair, but then those who stay at home and are not voting are the ones who are going to complain of elections being rigged tomorrow or some fraudulence in the process. Because if you want to actually make a change, they advise the best thing was to come out and vote and not stay back at home and complain. It's left just a few hours before Cameroonians go about counting. Uh, uh, one more thing I'd like to add is those who actually voted, some of them said they were going to stay there and count the voting process and count uh, the votes, I beg your pardon, the votes, they're going to follow the voting process right to the end. But then others said they had done their part and they were going back home. Uh, so that's all we gathered uh, today from uh, the several uh, uh, districts uh, or the several polling stations we visited right here in Douala. And uh, I'm sure by the end of the day, we'll have everything from the different regions in Cameroon. Thank you.